Reverend James Lawson Jr., a prominent civil rights leader who was a close advisor to Martin Luther King Jr., has died at the age of 95. Reverend Lawson was imprisoned as a conscientious objector during the Korean War. Decades later, he served as pastor of Holman United Methodist Church on West Adams Boulevard in L.A. from 1977 to 1999. Rachel Menatoff is live in the West Adams District with more on the life of Reverend Lawson. Rachel. Chair Micah, good evening to you both. Reverend Lawson trained a generation of national leaders in nonviolent protest, and his teachings changed the course of history. He also inspired many people here in L.A. as a pastor, a professor, and activist over five decades. We can transform not only our own lives, but we will transform the earth in which we live. And this is how Reverend James Lawson proudly lived his life. To many, he was the pioneer and architect of nonviolence within the civil rights movement, working alongside leaders like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Diane Nash, and John Lewis. He spoke at the late congressman's funeral in 2020. Let us then recommit our souls, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our strength to the continuing journey to dismantle the wrong in our midst. A Methodist minister and student of Gandhi, he organized the plan to desegregate downtown Nashville through sit-ins, pickets, economic boycotts, and other nonviolent means. In the 1960s, he mentored the Nashville Student Movement and Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and was ultimately expelled from Vanderbilt University for his activism. In 1974, he moved to Los Angeles to serve as lead pastor at Holman United Methodist Church. His legacy is that one man uh, can make a difference in this world. Reverend Lawson retired from his congregation in 1999, but continued his civil rights work. He played a significant role in the labor movement, the American Civil Liberties Union, and movements for reproductive choice and gay rights. His son, Los Angeles Superior Court Judge John Lawson, remembers marching alongside his dad. Uh, going along with my father to all these different marches and rallies, uh, I recognize that what my father was doing was speaking for those who could not speak for themselves. Mayor Karen Bass released a tribute saying, quote, he was there for me, as I know he was there for countless civic and faith leaders here in Los Angeles who were guided and influenced by his teachings. Whether it was in a counseling room uh, with a family, you know, at the church or organizing, you know, in the streets or in the civic square, civic arena, all of that was aligned the same. Uh, because it was all about creating healing, creating wholeness, creating justice uh, for all God's people. And during his last days at 95 years old, Reverend Lawson continued his commitment to right wrongs and bring about change. Through all his illnesses, he was still thinking of what more he could do uh, to be a good Christian and to try to bring about love and peace in the community. Reverend Lawson died on Sunday, surrounded by his two children and three grandchildren. His son says his dad was well aware of his circumstances and knew he was loved. His family is now planning a memorial, which will eventually be held here at his beloved church. We're live in the West Adams District. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Micah back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you.